Hey, what's going on guys? Blade the Joy here. So for today's video, we're going to be opening up the Dustmane Necrozma GX tin. Last video, I opened up the Dawnwings Necrozma and four packs of Ultra Prism. So we're going to be opening up this one and four more packs of Ultra Prism. All right, so without further ado, let's just get right into it. Which these, actually real quick, let's look at the tin. They look super sick compared to other tins that have been released. Like I like that, it's like a protruding. I don't know if the other tins have done that, but it looks super sick. Alrighty, so let's just take the plastic off. Alright. Get our packs out. So I'll put that up there. Alright. So here's the code card for the tin and the Necrozma GX. Just main necrozma. <clears throat> All right. So um, I'm pretty sure they're like the same thing as the uh, the regular GXs that come in the uh, Ultra Prism set. So it's not really much of a difference. But we're gonna go. So what we'll do again is we'll open up these two, Crimson Evasion, and then save Ultra Prism for the last packs. And we're still on the search for those gold cards. I remember I was watching a video on YouTube and. Uh, they opened up a case, I think, of Ultra Prism. Wait, no, what am I doing? It's only three from the back. And they only got one gold card. What? Oh, yeah, okay. So we got Double Colorless, Chinchino. So those cards are pretty rare to get. We got Snubble, Binacle, Bronzor, Fermi, Carbink. Got a Halucha Reverse. And the card is a Mew Hollow Rare. Nice. Great way to start off this video. And. Let me see. I'm gonna put these packs. I'll move this here. All right, there. Do it like that. <clears throat> Sorry, I know it's always a cluster. Okay. What am I doing? All right. I actually think I saw something shiny, but I'm not sure. Laffy, Driftblum. It was a green code card, but we're able to get a uh, break cards in these sets. C dot, Clauncher, Bergmite. Ah, uh, nah, I didn't see anything. Yanma, Reverse, and Primate Rare. <clears throat> I was imagining things. All right, Crimson Invasion. <clears throat> the set that's notorious for having bad pull rates. Not gonna lie though, every time I open up a Crimson Invasion, I mean, I managed to get something at least. Oh, but that green code card tells us we're not actually. All right, we got Fire Energy, Gladian, Chinchino, Miltank, Mankey, Jangmomo, Carablast, Dino, Dino, Houndour, Psychic Memory Reverse, and we got a Mammal Swine Rare. All right. <clears throat> so before I open up this last Ultra Prism pack from the tin, I'm actually just gonna crack these open real quick and get the packs out first. <clears throat> and if some of you guys actually follow me on Instagram, I actually posted the other day, whoops. Um, it was like, uh, I had three boxes that I took a picture of and it was, uh, or that I made a post of. And it was a Dragon Ball Super box, a Yu-Gi-Oh box, and a Ultra Prism box. <clears throat> and that's actually gonna be for my, my one year video. So make sure to, you know, keep an eye out for that when it comes up. That's gonna be an awesome opening. <clears throat> okay, Ultra Prism. We got a Steel Energy, Pokemon Fan Club, Cosmoem, Volkner, Carnivine, Sneasel, Eevee, Magmar, Morlo. We got a Reverse Magmar, and we got a Heatran Hollow Rare. Nice. I actually haven't pulled this yet. All right. Actually, let me take a look at that. Guard Press, Boiling Impact. Boiling blood like magma circulates through its body, makes it dwelling 
it makes its dwelling place in volcanic craves. <clears throat> All right. Even if it's just a holler, anything new is always good. There's another code card. <clears throat> okay, we got psychic. Whoops. Psychic energy. Perugly. So you guys saw that. We got something in this pack. Unite energy. Grottle. Weasel. Magnemite. Execute. Shinx. Passimian. We've got a Drifluent. And the final card is... Hey, nice. It's a full art for Mosa GX. Aw, oh, sick. <clears throat> I actually have this as the Rainbow Rare. Nice, but now I got the regular full art. I just love the green. That's actually uh, my favorite color. Nice. We got Fast Raid, Cruel Spike, and Beauty GX. Alright, nice. <clears throat> so we didn't leave this, uh, we didn't leave this opening with empty handed. <clears throat> Alright, next pack. Okay, Darkness Energy, or Dark Energy, Yan Mega, Looker, Electric Memory, Yanma, Execute, uh, Salandit, Piplup, Morlol, Magmar, and the final card is Tapu Lele, regular rare. Rares and reverses. Did I get two Magmars? Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, last two packs. Let's see. <clears throat> I wonder the chances. Uh, like, I wonder what the chances are of pulling a gold card. Damn, I, I'm sorry I did that, guys. Of pulling a gold card from like a regular blister pack or booster pack that's not from a box. I wonder what the chances are of that. Because I think a a gold card, I'm not sure about this, but I mean, I, from what I saw, it was only one in a case. And a case is uh, six booster boxes. <clears throat> so, I mean, that's pretty crazy. If you can pull one from a regular pack. <clears throat> Why am I doing that? Sorry, guys. <clears throat> All right, last pack. It's so a Grass Energy, Turtonator, Low Punny, Honchcrow, Santru, Pachirisu, Chimchar, Electabuzz, Gibble, Gardenia Reverse, and the final card is a Full Art Looker. Nice. It would have been awesome if that was a Full Art Cynthia, but <clears throat> Full Art Looker is still awesome. All right, so we ended up... Damn, that was... Uh, those last four packs that I opened were uh, just regular booster packs, not from the tin. So the tin only ended up giving us two hollow rares. So we got hollow rare Mew with memories of Dawn and Encounter. Then we got Heatran. And then, well, this comes already from the tin. We got a uh, Dust Mane Necrozma GX. And then we got from two booster packs, two single booster packs, we managed to get a Formosa GX full art. And then we got a Looker full art. Incredible. <laughs> if we would have got a full art Cynthia, that would have been crazy because I know that card I think is, uh, I want to say between $70 and $80. I could be wrong. Maybe the price has dropped, but I think that's what it was last time I saw it. So if we would have got that, we would have just made all our money back and then some. But alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to stay tuned for the, we'll keep an eye out for the uh, one year anniversary video. That should be coming up real soon. Alright guys, see you there.